Okay, everybody. I got this new Brinley lawn sweeper. It's a 42 inch lawn sweeper for my birthday. And I'm going to take all of the items out of the box and show you what's in the box. Part of my driveway, we're getting it resealed pretty soon. So there's that thing. Here's a bunch of these things. There's the bag. Here's the bag of instructions. I'm gonna to try to tackle this myself. And this is what came out of the bag of instructions. I really appreciate it when companies do this kind of thing. They label each part. Good move on that. It's 10.21 a.m. I'm not going to try to beat any speed records, but I wonder how long this is going to take me to put together by myself. Well, I was encouraged until I started looking at these instructions. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at all those numbers. Uh, <laughs> well, it looks like there's a lot of pieces. Let's start at the beginning. Wish me okay, luck. so it took me about 15 minutes to do this section. And I just hand tightened everything. I haven't used any tools yet. Pretty easy actually once you get down to it. The parts are labeled pretty well. So far, so good. Okay, so I started putting together the basket. Because I started with page one. But apparently, there are steps to this thing. And I needed to attach this whole thing to that thing. So don't do like me. Let's start with the essential section. Okay, if you're smart like me, you get your husband to come out and finish the work. Okay, so we pretty much have the basket together. These things are a little awkward to put in.
far as my assessment goes, regarding the assembly, uh, it took probably about two hours. Um, allow yourself enough time to put it together. It's not terribly complicated, but it's a little bit time consuming. Lots of pieces. The instructions were pretty clear as long as you follow them. Um, we did not put the flap over because the flap actually is supposed to be attached to this thing and we didn't feel like taking it all apart and putting it back. I guess the flap is for wind. It's not a windy day. It's like 110 degrees with with the heat index today. Um, I adjusted it. Here's the adjuster. I adjusted it down to the second to the lowest setting. I mowed yesterday morning uh, before it got to be really, really warm and it was still wet. So I had a lot of clumps and I've got about an acre of land and I'm tired of mowing it. I mean, I'm tired of raking it. Mowing it's not that bad with this thing. So that's, this is the solution for that. Um, as far as the performance goes, I don't think I could be happier. I wasn't quite expecting it to look so nice. You can see the, the color differences between when I went east versus when I went west. Um, it picked up all of that grass clippings that I had from yesterday. I have a tree, uh, which I showed you in the back of my yard that has some flowers. It picked up all those flowers really well. Like I said, I have about an acre and this is, um, I haven't emptied this yet. So this is how much grass I got from my acre and I haven't had to empty it yet. So, um, but I also didn't mow it very low yesterday because it's so hot and so, I kept it on a setting higher so my grass isn't quite as short as I had been mowing. So you can see it's pretty full but it worked perfect. I, I'm actually very very happy with this purchase. I'm gonna go empty it now and see how that process goes. So it comes with a string that you can attach to here and empty it while you're still sitting on your mower. Uh, this, it attaches with a piece of Velcro, uh, the handle does, and it didn't stick very well. So we just took it off. I'm just gonna manually dump it with my hand. That's not a big deal for me. I only have an acre. So let's go try that. I thought I should show you the string. Here's the string. Here's the uh, uh, handle. It comes with a piece of Velcro. You can attach it to your mower. It didn't stick on mine. I think it's probably too hot. I don't know. And then the other end of the string, you attach here. And then when you pull it, you lift it up and it dumps. And you don't even have to get up off your mower. That's how that's supposed to work, but that's not how I'm going to okay, use it. So I backed this thing up along the creek bed in the very back of my yard. I can't uh, videotape while I'm dumping because I'm only one person and I need my hands to dump. So you can see it's going to dump um, forward. So I had to kind of back up into where I wanted it to dump. It doesn't dump backwards. I'll let you know how All this right, goes. So very easy to lift. It was pretty full and I didn't have any problem lifting it. So I just went like this, dumped it. I think I'm going to probably drive forward and let that stuff dump out while I'm driving. Okay, well, I wish you could have seen that in action, but it worked very well. I just drove forward. It dumped all the grass clippings in one spot. It didn't drag it or anything. Perfect.